this is the new M1 MacBook Pro that I just bought. And this is me pondering about my next career move. Not much similarity is there. And yet buying the new MacBook Pro taught me a few things about how we make career choices and why sometimes it feels like we just can't decide on a career. I have to say this first, I absolutely love my MacBook Pro. And I know it's the right decision for me, it's the right computer for me. But it made me think, how do we come to our decisions in our careers? And why does it sometimes take so long to actually execute our decisions? That's what we have been talking about in this video today. If you consider the career change, you will have likely looked at some, if not all, all of the data, what the new career looks like, what it involves, what you need to learn, how your life might change, what you like or what you hate. And after having done all of that, you sit there and ponder. And then nothing happens because the only thing that stands between you and your future career is a decision. And we often tell ourselves that we just have to sit in it for a while to become comfortable or that when time passes, new information comes to light that might change our opinion. But what's really happening here is that we tell ourselves that when we make a decision now, it will be irreversible. And that just isn't true. You have gathered all the data. You know when you've done all your research. And once you have, you do have permission to make that decision. Then I came home and I guess there are two types of people. The ones who rip the box open first thing when they walk through the door and then there is me. I was excited having made the decision, really excited about the laptop, but I wasn't ready to open it. I wanted to sit in it for a while, you know, enjoy the anticipation. So the days passed by and funnily enough, so did the excitement of that new purchase in the house and I hadn't even used it yet. Does that sound familiar? You are truly excited. You made a career choice. You are happy about it. And now you want to sit in it for a while to enjoy the moment of having made a decision and thinking about your bright future. And at the same time, there is this little voice in the back of your head telling you that you don't really know whether it's the right decision. There are challenges that might come your way that you can't face or even worse, you might fail. And so you let time pass and with that, you let your excitement diminish as well. Sometimes to the extent that we reverse our decision. You are ready for that journey. As soon as you made that decision, you are ready to face any challenges that come your way. Not after the pandemic, not after you've saved enough money, but now. Of course, ultimately, that now happened for the laptop as well. But there was one final hurdle to overcome. What do you want to do? Set it up as a new device or let the computer do all the work and set everything up just as it was done before? Here, I set it up as a completely new machine. That was more work, absolutely. But I knew that on my old laptop, there are plenty of things that I don't need. And also, there are plenty of ways how I used my old laptop that weren't very efficient. And I wanted to take full advantage of the new capabilities. Your choice of a new career is a huge opportunity. You have accumulated a lot of knowledge over the years how to do your job well, but you've also accumulated a lot of habits that are less helpful, like the never-ending to-do lists or scheduling meetings from morning till noon or eating at your desk and so on and so on. Many of us treat that next career as a do-over of the previous one. We click that set up as before button and want to arrange everything the same way it was before. And we deprive ourselves of the opportunity to do something different, to engage with the new that can lead to a better and more fulfilled life. Observing myself buying this new laptop had some fascinating insights into my own personality. And over the years, I've learned that despite many of us wanting to change careers, we have a tough time implementing that change into our lives. But we can make it easier. When we've done all the research, decide. You don't have to wait. You don't have to think that something is irreversible. When you decide, make a plan and execute. Don't just sit in it. 
And once you are ready to execute, also take full advantage of the change rather than keeping everything the same. And number four, yes, there is a number four. Watch the video that's on the screen right now. I will see you next time. Take care.